so happy that we were able to honor the 74 team. And it's, it's amazing, you know, 50 years, and just you get to see the bond that those guys have. I mean, they got comedians, they got guys who are serious. Um, you know, it was, it was a special honor for uh, those guys to come to practice yesterday and hang out with our guys. And Tommy actually took a couple guys on the floor and showed them how to wall up. And I was like, it doesn't make any difference, Tommy. Nobody's your height. And so it's going to be hard to, to – um, you know, to wall up and just getting to see, I got a chance to see uh, Monty Tile, who when I, I was the head coach at Harvard Military Academy, he used to come up and recruit. And there's just so many stories and I can't believe that I'm already into, um, you know, 30 seconds of the 74 team and I haven't miss, mentioned the GOAT. You know, when the GOAT's in the building, you got David Thompson in the building, you better not lose the game. And uh, I thought that guys really responded. Uh, it was a really electric, um, opportunity for our guys because obviously, you know, we did a great job. We went on the road against Clemson and had a great win and we felt like we just didn't play well enough to beat Syracuse. And to come back home and Earl's team's really good. Boston College really good. Earl's done a really good job with his team. Uh, really happy for our guys. I, I thought this was our best defensive effort, especially in the first half. You know, we made an effort to defend the three-point line. I think that was where, you know, that was our game plan coming in. Uh, our post guys were tremendous. Um, I don't know that Quinn Post and uh, Devin McLaughlin are ever going to leave any game where they have seven points. And I thought that guy stepped up to the plate and did a great job with that. So, questions? Kevin, you, you knew that a game would come where D.J. Horn didn't score 25 points or so. Just how important was the balance score today, especially D.J. Burns getting so involved? I was shocked, Chip, that he didn't put up 30 tonight. <laughs> now, he, he has been special. Like, I, I don't know in a six-game six, um, um, period if I've seen a guy who played who has played as well as he has. I thought he was good. That being said, we needed Casey. I thought Casey was really good. He was aggressive. He drove the ball. I thought JT kept coming off the bench, did a great job. He got to the free throw line, was seven for seven from the free throw line. Michael played great. Michael had six uh, assists and no turnovers. And, you know, I've been pleading, you know, we, we've needed another guard to step up and play well, obviously, when D, so DJ doesn't have to have 30 every night. But I thought it was a great team effort. After six straight games that were very close, did you kind of look up at the clock with about three minutes left and kind of say to yourself, oh, this is what it feels like? No, I'm shocked. I mean, I thought we were going to have another close game. We've only had 11 of them in the, in the ACC. I, I thought our guys were completely locked in. And, and we knew it. I mean, we knew that we felt like we let one slip away at home. We knew that we needed to get well. We knew that the 74 team was here. And so there was a lot of great factors. And um, you know, I'm glad to get a, a, a double-digit league in this, uh, a win in this league. Because you don't get them any out, I mean, very often. You look around, I know there'll be several other games to um, this evening. And I guarantee you most of them will come down to the end. Coach, what do you make your team's aggressiveness just the way they got to the line from start to finish in the game and obviously being efficient from there? How much does that help you guys? Yeah, you know, uh, Miles, what we did is, you know, we looked at the Florida State game. And, you know, the last game that we played, I think it was 11 point win by Florida State. And they did a great job of getting paint touches. And they got to the line uh, 29 times. And we talked about that, you know, don't settle, you know, drive the basketball, you know, play inside out. And, you know, I'm proud of this group because they're following scout reports. Um, our, our assistant coaches are doing a tremendous job of putting the game plan together, and they're doing a good job of following it. You're kind of a superstitious guy. Are you going to keep the jerseys? <laughs> don't start that, JC. <laughs> you you do like to carry over after you know, a win, though. You're, you're starting something. You, you you know that everybody wants us to wear those state jerseys, so you you got a tricky way of asking me if we're going to keep it. We've won in the other ones, too, just so you know. But you like consecutive streaks. I do like consecutive street. Uh, I, for the record, before you print this, mm -hmm. I love the state jerseys. We're there, we, we wear them every so often. We don't wear them all the time. So I don't know what, whether we wear them or not. Uh, we've only got one more game here. That's senior night. Maybe, maybe not. But you start to, you're trying to start some stuff up. Well, I mean, Craig, you, you're the type that would wear the same shoes yeah. two games in a row. Craig, Craig cut him off. He can't actually <laughs> That'll be the narrative tomorrow, man. We 
look, you, you do know that everybody's going to print, man. They just look so good. And NC State should never wear any other jersey but the ones that say State across their chest. And I don't, I'm not going to agree or disagree with that. But great question, JC. <laughs> they did win the national championship. Huh? They did win the national championship. Yeah, and we, we wore them to honor a great team. <laughs> Is it ever a thought process in the later minutes when you got a size of a margin to try to keep that margin in terms of like that, and, you know, point differential and stuff like no, that? No, man, I'm a sportsmanship guy. I'm not going to. I mean, we, we played the guys that we played, and, um, you know, they played in the game. You know, the game just happens naturally. If we would have went up 25, would have been 25. Um, you know, would I love to have a 25-point win? If we're looking at the net, that's what it's about. But through the flow of the game, I thought they made some shots and cut it to 18. Uh, the guys that we played wasn't guys that, you know, obviously couldn't play. They played in the first half also. Yeah. Bo really uh, filled up the defensive stat sheet. What made him such a dynamic defender today? Well, we knew uh, against, um, against Miami, uh, Boston College was 15 for 30 uh, from the three-point line. Uh, against Florida State, they were 9 for 22. And, and we couldn't, you know, with Quentin Post, he's such a unique um, seven-footer. And he can kill you in two different ways. He can score the ball inside, and he can pick and pop. So we didn't want him to beat us in either way, uh, but we wanted to make sure that we took care of the pick and pop op opportunities. I thought, um, you know, Madison still made four. I'm disappointed about that, but I think they were late in the game. And the last one was Casey gave up a three at the end. A couple of players were asked after the game about uh, can they stay away or do they try to stay away from net talk in the bubble in the NCAA. And Bob said they were what they, they stay aware. There's no way to you know. Keep they away stay from, aware of away. Sorry, but they are aware of it. There's no way to yep. kind of keep away. Of, but but the main thing is to win games and go for them. See where it takes you. Yeah, I mean we listen. We have opportunities in front of us. I think we got four games left uh, regular season, and, and I think two or three of those are quad ones. And so we got some opportunities in front of us. We can only control what we can control. We, we got to win games and, and figure out what the number. It's frustrating, as you guys know, that every team has a number attached to them instead of how good you're playing and how good your league is. And, you know, unfortunately, it happens that way. But, you know, we've got a lot of fighting us. We've got three more regular season games, and we got the tournament. So we'll just figure out what happens.